Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Need something? Hey, tell me about yourself. A lot to tell. I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is, a vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. How long since you've killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please. Only be a taste. I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Fine. But not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. <sighs> That's enough. strong. I feel happy. <sighs> I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. I'm just a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger 
but few of their powers. Uh, is that how you can stand in the sun? Because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. If you don't like it, you can leave. I wouldn't recommend it. I won't get you, but the mind players might. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted, unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or... A road to damnation. But to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. specific than somewhere the house of hope where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly go on partake enjoy your supper after all it might just be your last are these theatrics leading somewhere <laughs> are you not entertained well Far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But... A savior, that's for certain. 
I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Then fix it, or die at my hand. Yes, I like it when my clients put up a fight, only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. He's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. Cazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Ow! with her if you'd known she'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian. I mean, I had my hopes. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Does he say that? Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. 
Thank you. I enjoyed myself. Oh, as did I, dear one. Lovita herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. How does someone become a vampire, exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. So, they bite you, you bite them? <laughs> yes, and... No. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. I don't want to say a damned thing. But that won't do anyone any good. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. How were you turned? Did he attack you? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Casador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me. To give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. And you've been a slave ever since? A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak. And our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vain mood settled on, he had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead 
putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. That sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open. And watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. I'll watch your back. Don't worry. What more could I ask? Now is that all? So, about you biting me. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe later? Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Castor. We have other options. Better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. I'm gonna kick Castor's ass though. myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. But it's not that bad. Think of all the goblins you killed. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Mm. Dry <coughs> and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? And what's your idea of a little fun? By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep we'll find each other all right let's do it i'll see you later indeed you will my love indeed you will since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting to have you. You don't have me yet. Don't I? You are here. And I don't think you want to talk. I think you want to be known. To be tasted. And what do you want? What do any of us want? Pleasure. Yours. Mine. Our collective ecstasy. That's what you want, isn't it? To lose yourself in me. I thought so.
Not staying for a cuddle? You sleep light. I thought you'd be exhausted after last night. Did you enjoy it? It felt like you weren't fully there. I was holding back a little, it's true. I didn't want to lose control. Delicious as you were, I didn't want to go too far. Now, shall we get on? I want to go before anyone else thanks me for saving their tails. And don't feel the need to brag to the others about our little tryst. Given the noise you made last night, I'm sure they already know. I wanted to ask about your scars first. Where did you get that? It's a poem. A gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Why did he write it in Infernal? Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. <clears throat> that infernal. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? They want me to take a look. Uh, what are you doing? I, sorry, I will leave you alone. Wait, I'm sorry. You caught me by surprise, that's all. I've been tracing the scars on my back with my fingers, trying to read them by touch. But I can't. They may as well be written in Rashini. Let me have a look. I... This isn't your problem, you know. All right, if you don't want answers... No, wait. Here. The jagged script is definitely infernal. The language of the hells. But you can't make out its meaning. And? What can you see? I'm not sure. I... Hold still. I'll draw it for you. What in the hells? What did he do to me? Should we ask the others? They might know something. No. No, let's keep this between ourselves. At least until we know what it means. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. Someone out there will be able to read it, I'm sure. I'm sure. But what will it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well... It's something. We'll figure it out. I promise. Will we? How sweet. Quite well, I think. Here's my little treat when their cheeks all flushed. You will come to my bed tonight, won't you? Very presumptuous. I'm undecided what I'll do tonight yet. Ah, you need a bit of enticing. Let me see. Hmm. How about this one? When I'm with you, I feel practically alive. Yet I crave only to die again. With you. Oh, so many honeyed words. As usual. Not half as sweet as when I tasted you. Hmm. 
Let me give it another go. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. <laughs> Did these really work on Casador's targets? Well, they worked on you last time, didn't they? <laughs> How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I love you. You'd be lying. <laughs> but rather beautiful lie. Nonetheless, now, as much as I relish standing around and saying all my favorite lines at you, I'd much rather we got to experience each other's uh, full portfolio of talents once again. I'll come find you after everyone else is asleep. I'll be waiting. I hoped you would come. <laughs> I have missed you. And now you're all mine. And I'm all yours. Until morning, at least. Let's see where the night takes us. Looking at something. But how did you know I was here? The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. Do you miss it? Seeing your own face. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. What color were they before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Hmm. I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What do you see? Strong, piercing eyes. Oh. Go on. The way your hair curls around your ears. Oh, this is meant to be flattery, not poetry. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Is that all you want? Shallow praise? Hardly. There's also goal, sex, revenge. Quite the list, really. But failing any of those, I will always settle for shallow praise. Come on, come on. What are you hiding? Can you summon the dead? Bring them back. Can you... Um, can you shut up and let me read? I didn't say anything. No. I won't kill them. Well, maybe Shadowheart. I can't. I won't. Stop! Let me go! Ah. Uh, hello. Good book? A unique read, certainly. A tome of necromancy guarded by spirits. I barely opened it when they started whispering from the shadows. Now, every time I open it, the voices surge back into my mind. I can't reason with them. They exist to protect that book. Is there anything we can do? Maybe. Maybe not. It's hard to know what's lurking in here. Someone went through a lot of trouble to protect this tome. It has to be something more than a book of cantrips. Still, I doubt this will help us with our parasites. Maybe it's better to put it aside for now. What are you hoping to find in there, anyway? It's a book of necromancy, full of secrets about controlling the dead, returning the dead to life, and who knows what else. Whatever's in here, it might give me an edge over Casador. Mm, free me from him entirely. Although I can't make any progress as long as those spirits remember their mission. It seems to be all they know. Still, if nothing else, maybe I can beat Casador to death with it. 
I'm afraid that through those ruins, somehow, Cazador might still be able to dominate me. All right. What do you want to do about it? Find an expert, of course. And I already have one in mind. Our devilish friend, Raphael. If anyone's going to know about Infernal Text, he will. If he'll want something in return, I, uh, are you sure you can pay his price? Well, we won't know until we ask now, will we? <laughs> Unfortunately, he comes and goes in his own schedule, so we'll just have to look out for any sulfurous odors or the sound of questionable poetry. Meanwhile, I think I'll spend some time studying the art of infernal negotiations. darling uh, why ask Raphael about your scars what what's your plan it's not a plan yet more a feeling just an itch at the back of my mind but I know I'm missing something whatever Casador did to me it was more than his usual sadism it had purpose once I know what that purpose was, maybe a plan will present itself. But for now, I just need to scratch this itch. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. What do you mean, naive? Uh, just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? To destroy the cult and end its evil. Forever. God! Just try to think outside the box just a little. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the Mind Flayers infected. Hundreds. Thousands. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. And how would we do that, exactly? I mean... <laughs> I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe. And liberate the world from this evil. I'll consider it. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hell to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses, so instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Uh, stop stalling. As you wish. Brace yourself, Astarian. We're about to unveil 
your destiny. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price, as all worthwhile things do. Lord Cazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn. If he is to ascend, imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a star. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. You're quiet. It's... It's unsettling. It's a lot to take in. What do you think I should do? You'll never be free while Casador lives. I hate how right you are. I knew he wouldn't leave me alone even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Of course I'll help. We'll hunt him down and kill him. Thank you. Do you have a moment? I, I think we need to talk. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I just feel awful. Look, I had a plan. A nice, simple plan. Seduce you, sleep with you, manipulate your feelings so you'd never turn on me. It was easy. Instinctive. Habits from 200 years of charming people kicked in. All you had to do was fall for it. And all I had to do was not fall for you. Which is where my nice, simple plan fell apart. You're... You're incredible. You deserve something real. I want us to be something real. So the nights we spent together didn't mean anything. Of course they did. That's the problem. Or part of it. Being close to someone, any kind of intimacy, was something I performed to lure people back for him. Even though I know things between us are different, being with someone still feels 
tainted. Still brings up those feelings of disgust and loathing. I don't know how else to be with someone. No matter how much I'd like to. I care about you. Deeply. Really? Surprises, aren't you? We can be together without sleeping together for as long as you need. Why, that uh, almost sounds like a challenge. Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing or what comes next. in my heart. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? You can feed on me tonight if you would like. Then I'll see you tonight, you sweet, generous thing. I wanted to ask about Kazro's ritual. Y you must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? I just want to know what your intentions are. I haven't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... not. What? I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. <laughs> Naturally. Who wouldn't be tempted? Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Can we talk about the two of us? Us? I still love the sound of that. Could I kiss you? <laughs> there is nothing I'd like more. to face the master if we're late for his black mass soon sister we only need one more mark we have enough for the master no more are needed it's not for the master it's for me i spent 100 years eating rats and dogs but soon i'll be able to feast i want someone there ready for me and once the mass is done and our lord grants us freedom I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom. 
And you believed him? Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Astarian, stop. Wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Kazador will save them. They'll warn him we're coming. Yes. And they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. They have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Those six spawn are your brothers and sisters. Are you ready to sacrifice them? Trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes. And it's not like their sweet innocence. They brought Cazador just as many victims as I did. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me on this. I just... I want you to be happy. <laughs> then you'll help me in this. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Behind it, 
it is the kennel. A fetid little cell he throws into when displeased. There is so much to do. So much Not to my mind. Pack. And, well, in it. Show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Gody. <laughs> Lay a hand on me and lose it, Bones. What's it like being back? It does feel strange. Breaking into your own home. Especially if murder's on your mind. But then again, this is hardly the strangest thing we've done together. Although it could be the most satisfying. Well, the second most satisfying. <laughs> Are you sure about this? You don't have to face him. <laughs> I've never been less sure of anything. But if I don't face him now, I never will. I'll spend the rest of my life running, watching the shadows, never feeling safe. No. This has to happen here. And now. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. So that'll be nice. Are the servants charmed? Like the guards in the tower? Oh no. It's much worse than that. They're 
fanatics. Here of their own free will and utterly devoted to Casador. Each one came to our door and begged to be given his eternal gift. They're sure he'll turn them if they serve him well enough. He'd almost feel sorry for the poor deluded souls. But they're idiots who brought this upon themselves, so don't. So, what's the plan? If my dear siblings were right, Cazador's hiding somewhere below the palace. After so many years, I would have spotted any secret tunnels out here. If Cazador's hiding anywhere, it'll be behind the huge locked doors covered in secret writing. The signet ring should unlock the ballroom door, but only if we can read the inscription. And I don't know about you, but it's pure gibberish to me. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Is this how you used to live, Astari? Huh, hardly. Cazador didn't keep me in luxury, but I've never seen anything like this. How did they get here? What is Cazador doing with them? I should have guessed there was more to it than Raphael would ever have told. You? I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me in trouble. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? One hundred. 
170 years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. We'll set you free. Do you want to happen? I don't know. I, I just don't want to die. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. God's above. Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots. And the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. It is Kazdor's cruelty, not yours, to have kept them alive in this way. Thank you. Yes. This will all be over soon. It's just sickening seeing them again. I don't know what else. Hey! Hey, you! Come closer. Oh, God! It can't be! It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you! Once I get out of here! I'll kill you! You're the children from the Monster Hunters camp. Camp! Camp! Monster Hunters! Uh, the girl camp! Oh, God! My parents' camp! Chessa, uh, focus! Resist the beast in inside you! Oh, you promised! It's your fault! You did this to us! Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us! He's the reason we're spawns! Oh, I'll kill you! Uh, <laughs> yes, now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. Uh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rules or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. We promised their parents we'd save them. Parents? Y you've seen my parents? They're looking for you. I miss them, I, I think. Or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. But leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. I... 
I'm sorry it had to end this way. Good luck to you. Tell them. Tell them you couldn't find us. want to say something I just want to know if you'll actually set those prisoners free I'm not sure I've been weighing my options on the one hand they're the key to my unlocking eternal power and freedom on the other well it's my fault they're here yes it was Cazador's command I had no choice but it seems now, I do. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Whatever the hells that might be. before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake. Every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me?
let's kill
for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. I help you complete the ritual. It'll kill all of these these people. These people died years ago. Trust me on that. All that's left are feral spawn, desperate for blood. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if they die and I ascend. I won't have to rely on the parasite to walk in the sun. I'll be free. Truly. Completely. Free. Isn't that what you want? you to live a life you're proud of. You can't be proud of like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. 
You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Now, that's a better question. 7,000 spawn from ancient conquests to stolen children. Tassadors start controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. Let's release them. They deserve the same chance you got. A herd of vampires spawn unleashed on the Sword Coast. What could go wrong? The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I lured them here. someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. How does it feel? I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I. Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. You killed one vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them, know they include your children. They... Oh, they survived? Well, that depends on how you define survived, really. But they are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. 
Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Casador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. Curse to put my hands on everything. The elevator lies ready. probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. Don't say that. We can still find a way to control the tadpole. <laughs> Maybe. But even if I could control it, it's a dangerous game. I spend every day waiting for something to go wrong, for the tadpole to find some new trick, reassert itself, make me a slave again. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I'll be with you either way. I hope you know that. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. There's something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. What is it? Something I haven't shown anyone else. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Since the night I woke up down there, I had to punch a hole in a coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, wrenching up dirt and concealed blood, Casador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. You were never his. Whatever he had, he took by force. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. And the person I was lay here. Dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You're the person I love. The person I want. I feel the same. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. You won't. Whatever comes next, I've got you. Thank you. I should probably fix this.
it's time to try living again with everything that life has to offer meaning if a night of passion is an offer i could be persuaded it sounds good to me you know i didn't care for you when we first met but i do know tactical alliance I love you I love this and I want it all Ritual chamber, you were someone else. Someone unrecognizable. You're not wrong. Casador left his mark on me in more ways than one. For a moment, I wanted to be just like him. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Casador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. You saved yourself. I just gave you a push. <laughs> <laughs> you did more than that. You believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. An equal. You saved me from myself. And let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. I hope there's nothing troubling you, my dear. You can feed on me tonight if you would like. I was so hoping you'd say that. Until later then. Can we talk about the two of us? Yes, my sweet. What is it? Can I kiss you? <laughs> Can't get enough. I'm not 
surprised. I do love someone. Someone close to me, actually. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword. And trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. <laughs> Sorry, and are you are you up for this? <laughs> oh my love. How could I say no? Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. when he is elbow deep in gore. <laughs> Guilty as charged, sometimes literally. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. Many things delight the heart, but only one makes it sing. Tell me. What does he desire more than anything? Me. Oh, you're very sweet. I wouldn't say no to some gory vengeance personally, but that was an adorable answer. Do not fear. There is time yet. For our touch has been light, but now we must dig deep. Deeper than any other. Fear sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Astarian. What is his deepest fear? Breaking a nail. Ha! Well, when you look this good. <laughs> You know me better than I thought. I'll have to be more mysterious in the future. Your bond is seedling. One that needs a gentle hand in its tending. Nurture it, and it will become a great oak in time. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Was long quiet 
Beast with love and you. Yes, no. I want to discuss the astral touch tadpole. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. Unlike you to be so un unwilling to receive a new power. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I, I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. All right. I will speak no more on the matter. I had nothing for so long. Nothing. Not even my own body. I will not give it up. Now it's mine again. Look, come here. <laughs> You're so adorable when you're thinking what to say. <laughs> Can we talk about the two of us? Yes, my sweet. What is it? Could I kiss you? How could I say no? outcome of this battle is not predetermined. It will depend on your will to win. Well said. We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. I always dreamed of walking these halls, you know. Uh, my dreams never included a giant brain or smoldering ruins, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, how are you faring? Oh, as well as can be expected when facing down the end of the world. Do you think we can win this? Uh, I can't say for sure. <laughs> but we've come through a lot already. It would hardly do to fail now. <laughs> This might be our last chance to share a kiss. Then we'd better make it count. We'd better survive this. Because I never want to stop doing that.
Ultimate's master. I will finish this. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of the Emperor's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Go ahead. Command the brain to destroy all tadpoles. It was worth it for this.
I can't feel the tadpole. It's gone. We're free! I should feel relieved. Yet my blood still simmers. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died with the brain. That means we can't turn into mind flayers. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with being a mind flayer, of course. It makes little difference to me. I did what I had to to secure my freedom. And in spite of your resistance to evolution, you have proved a good ally. We could not have done it without your help. I think so. I did my best. The Gith Yankee are leaving. It would have been hard to imagine parting ways from them peacefully once. So, Lazel, will you be joining them? The Netherbrain is dead. To slay a Geich was my sworn duty. I must call out to Tunorath. My ascension's at hand. This is your decision, Lazel. Make it count. I've suffered so many bruises. Bore so many blows, all to earn Vlakid's favor. Yet, it's this vexing, excruciating, phenomenal world that I can't resist. Vlakid will call for my head. The Kithraki will chase me to every corner of Tyrell. Let them. Now, I hunt prey on my own terms and spill blood of my choosing. I need not be ascended, for I am born anew. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones... I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I will be unstoppable. The casts I weave will be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Good luck, Gail. Don't forget me when you're a god. It's I who should be saying such things. Do not think I leave you without a heart as heavy as your own. I owe it to myself to follow where destiny leads. I'll never forget you. And I promise. And if you ever felt differently, there'll be a place waiting for you in the heavens. Farewell, Gale. I hope he still remembers us little people, once he secured godhood. Though he may have to contend with Mistra before that's a foregone conclusion. As for us, well... The future awaits. What comes now? I cannot remember the last time we did not have a grand purpose to work towards. I think a celebration is in order. A celebration, yes. And perhaps a drink, too. I will not be joining you. I fear my presence will be no more welcome in the streets of the city than it ever was. Every geek is an abomination. Maybe you're an exception. Maybe. I will miss you, too. Now that you no longer live in each other's
people's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. That's the last of Astarian the sun will ever see. May he fare well in the dark. thinking about freedom. We've dealt with the parasite, and you dealt with Casador. I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. So, what happens next? I'll help you find a way to walk in the sun again. You... Do you think it's possible? I suppose there is a chance. And if there's a chance, no matter how small, I'm going to take it. And it would mean setting off on another adventure together. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. <laughs> no. This is what I want. <sighs> Good. Because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Since the Netherbrain fell, you and Astarian have seen more of Faerun than you ever thought possible. One night, he tells you that these last six months of happy memories are the counterweight to 200 years of misery. Next day, you receive an invitation written in a frail hand, inviting you to a gathering back in the place where your journey together began. A chance to meet with the friends and allies who were by your side in the battle against the Absolute. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened 
mountained to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. friends fared without us they seem happy really i'm glad it would be so easy to go through everything we did and come out the other side bitter and twisted <laughs> but they deserve happiness we all do and i will forever be grateful to have found it with you so am i truly I do feel a little bad keeping you all to myself. After all, I get to see you every night. Go on, go mingle. Enjoy your time with the others. Bless them with your presence. I'll be here when you're ready. I'll always be here, my love. But I will accept it. Go on, talk to the others. We have forever after all. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? I feel satisfied. I accomplished everything I wanted to do. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? What indeed. Prick up thy ears and listen. balance of the world restored, the balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sew, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To brains without worms and a good night's sleep. To you.